I might be bald, but I've got a lot of friends, friends who have thick, luscious heads of hair. And when I've given them the whey products that they've used consistently, well, let's just say their thick, luscious heads of hair have reached new heights of lusciousness, thickness, and health. Whey's new scalp serum and thick and full supplements are a complete solution for promoting the appearance of thicker, fuller, healthier hair. My friend, who shall remain nameless, started using the supplements and the serum a few weeks ago, and holy crap, the difference is remarkable. The way thick and full supplements improve your overall hair health, they contain beauty boosting ingredients such as biotin and pea shoot extract that promote thicker, fuller strands, and they're only vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free ingredients used. Plus, the Daily Scalp Serum can be used day or night with wet or dry hair. It soothes the irritation from tight ponytails and excessive hair detangling and keeps your hair feeling stronger and looking fuller through a healthy, hydrated, balanced scalp. Grow all the way with Whey Scalp Serum and Thick and Full Supplements. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com and use code BEAUTIFUL to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's 15% off your entire order at T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com, code BEAUTIFUL. Way more people are peeing on each other than you think. Way, wait, 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 wait. more people are peeing on each other than you think. All right, so I'm here. I'm. I want to hear about it. I don't want to talk to anyone, but I talk to me. I don't want to out anyone, but I find that in the show I have a joke about someone peeing in my mouth, mm-hmm. and it brings people out of the woodwork who go, "Oh, I've, I've been <laughs> peed on. I like to pee on. Everyone's peeing on everyone." <sighs> are they doing Pissing it in the, in the mouth? Pissing in Pissing the ass. In the mouth. Pissing in the ass and pussy and mouth. <gasps> Are they doing it in the shower? Are they doing it in the bed? Girl, do they have rubber I sheets? Have thoughts. What's the ha- what's the tea? <laughs> the age of consent in the UK is 16. <gasps> I don't know <sighs> if I'm okay with it. I can't change it. <gasps> what about I can't change what about, it, but <laughs> you think it's too young? I think teen anything is too young unless you're well, here's what I guess I'm fine with. If you're okay. a sophomore in high school dating a senior, you can have sex legally. I guess that's cool. Which, like, you're the same age, whatever. Okay. Okay. But I guess they see that. About a, mm, something, something about a 40-year-old <laughs> possibly picking up a 16-year-old. I don't know about her. I don't know about her. Ooh, you know I, mean? I don't know about her. Ooh, that's tough. You got to get your yeah, priorities it, looked at. You got to get the oil changed. Yeah. I, I got to tell that. you something else. Please. I'm in Cambridge. I, I got to tell you this, by the way. I've been on tour since we were on tour. I, I know just this. psychologically grappled with that. <sighs> oh my God. It's the I don't think I'm ready to do that. <laughs> it's zero darker. Um, I asked for air conditioning in this venue. <laughs> <laughs> Three oscillating fans. I said, are we at Kinko's? Are okay. we at the office? So here's the well, funny thing about temperature. Temperature is not the same thing as um, uh, circulation. <laughs> right? Right? Because this is an HVAC girl. podcast. I, I think mean, we should listen, get... <laughs> I'm happy for anything. I'm in Cambridge tonight. It's a very historic theater. You can tell it's called the the, the Corn Exchange. Which you I like thought... like corn? Rimming. <laughs> rimming, right? Um, but... Hello. Wait, why did you think rimming? Because eating corn. Why did you think? Because <laughs> eating corn shit, eating shit with corn in it. <laughs> Brandon, you're just no, in the pod. Mary. We just accept it. Brandon's getting me a glass of wine. I deserve it. You deserve it, Mary. You got three oscillating fans and no AC. Get the wine. Get the wine. We just did London, Brighton, and Cambridge in a row. And I got to tell you, too. Look at that. That's a, that's a heavy pour. Um, oh, wow. That's a trashy pour. A heavy pour. girl, Brandon said. Um, I got to tell you, too. Getting, getting into this tour, I was shaking in my boots because I had not really done stand-up like a full show in two and a half years. And when the stand-ups were all doing Zoom, Zoom, Zoom stand-up and like parking lot stand-up, oh. I, I, I omitted. Yeah. I, yeah. I called my PE you teacher and said I had a doctor's note on my period. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, Dignity. And I got to tell you, halfway through this tour, like, like a few shows in, I, I love doing it. Oh, you do? Okay, that's good. I thought and you were going to say I something else. I used to be really good at it, <laughs> and it took a few shows to be like, I loved this because I was good at it. Okay. Well, I'd love to hear it that. It was so fun. So fun. And it, I'm having mm. a great time. I only have 
eight, eight or nine dates left now. And so now I'm past the hump and I talked to the band. I was like, this is the part of tour that goes fast. You hit the yes. middle and it's not the yeah. end yet. Then those cruising. dates. Cruising. How many dates all together? This one was about 22 or something. Oh my God. And it really this did is the last nice. Now it gets wild. Reykjavik, Paris. Like it gets wild now. Are you in a bus? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a bus. It has neon lights, neon rope lights. Uh, which, by mm-hmm. the way, I flew Nick from my YouTube channel out to the UK. He's been filming, so I'm going to have content oh, cool. on the road from this bus cool. tour. Because, you know, the UK buses are different. Double-decker. Yes. Double-decker, Mary. What I do love you a prefer, the American tour bus or the UK tour bus? I like the UK one. I like the double-decker. I do, too. It's like there's the romper room with the food on the bottom. Yeah. And then, the, the and then you go, go to sleep upstairs, upstairs, rest and relaxation. I yeah. like that. I think it's better. Although, you know, it does it does occur to me frequently while we're on the bus how I don't know, how easily it could all go south south being dead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I mean, of course. So it's in a, a in a flash. Force. Yeah, in a flash, dead, dead on arrival. I, I Ooh. pray for it. Girl, I still want to be I got so much on that bus. I got so much tea to tell you, but I have to ask, did you go to a tell me now. I surely fucking did. Went to Six Flags on a Wednesday, um, Wednesday, and I'm so glad we didn't get the flash pass because we went in the right in the morning, 20 minutes before they opened. It was dead. We rode every motherfucking air, uh, roller coaster, some of them twice, and it was so lovely. Oh my god, it was so lovely. Then we got hot, we got um, uh, burritos at a, at a gas station. Oh, it was just the perfect day. The perfect I day. I am so into low quality food right now. Well, and, no, it was actually high quality food in a low quality uh, destination, so it was under the radar. Yes, you know I, I mean? I, in the UK, I've been eating Cafe Nero, Pret, like, like just the the UK Trash. Starbucks style shit. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. T- t- tomato Trash. mozzarella toasty, just toasty, yeah. toasty, toasty. Cheese sandwiches, toasty, toasty, cheese toasty. sandwiches, cheese sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. Are I've you been running into her, girl? Every day. Are you running? I've never been every so day, all the time. You look great. It's fabulous. I feel Wait, so great. tell me the tea. Tell me the tea. None of my clothes fit. It's fabulous. My costume, loose. everything is They're all loose. Everything, everything is just everything. loose and goosey. But That's I will great. not take a single thing in because I don't I know karma. <laughs> the day I take a costume. <laughs> Boop. Yeah. Boop. Um, I love okay, that. I got so much tea to tell you. Well, I was just in Los I Angeles need, this weekend. Mm-hmm. I was in Los Angeles this weekend to do the comedy festival, which you were at, and I know that you left I, before my number, and that's okay. <laughs> I've seen because it, it was I've, a taping. I've seen that pig. I've seen that pig. I've seen that pig. That's what I said. I've seen that pig. Um, if the children girl, don't know, I, I was lucky enough to perform at the Standout Festival as part of the Netflix is a Joke Festival, where it's all yeah. these iconic queer standups, and then they so invited many. me and Bob, which was so fabulous. Bob the, hosted Bo- life changing, so good. By the way, the only two, if I may, the my my number one critique of this whole thing was the casual comfort corner outfits. This was a t- this was taped for Netflix. And you yeah, and Bob girl. are the only two that looked any good. Sorry about it. Well, we Blue. are in drag. Blue. I looked great. I wore my, my dress from the Trixie Motel interviews. And I had to tie it extra because it was so big. Oh, oh my God. Your hair looked great. And then great. I had a super tight corset on. And then I had the guitar on. And when I walked on stage in the middle of my song, I mentally went, they can't fucking see my waist. This doesn't matter. They cannot. They cannot. Yeah. Oh, right, uh, right, Rosie right. O'Donnell but it's literally you. had a... Rosie O'Donnell had a hoodie on that said the Greek theater. I said, did you come naked? <laughs> what? <laughs> but it was Rosie O'Donnell. It was pretty iconic. We were I don't care if you're Julius Caesar. <laughs> put a little... I, I know you're supposed to keep on. it cool. Put a clicker I like, on. I said, I said, Rosie O'Donnell, uh, Trixie Mattel, and... I've seen like all your movies and I've seen like all your TV shows and I've been watching you since I was a kid. And this is so cool to work with you. It and she said, how old are you? I said, I'm 32. And she said, you're just a baby. And she hugged me. Oh, oh my God. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yes. And I then, have um, enjoyed her in many programs. That's what I said. I many, was like, many her owns is. Liga her owns is. Um, Exit to Edens is. Riding the bus with my sister. So many options. Thank you. Thank you. The, the Flintstones. You. The Flintstones. The View. Let's have that conversation. <laughs> Let's have that conversation. 
So I get there. Um, we have rehearsal the day before. I get there. Uh, first of all, it was a whole thing. I land at the airport. Yeah. I go straight to the voice doctor. Oh, my God. Right. They scope me immediately because my voice has been tired on tour. They said, they, yeah. I, they say, sing. I have the thing down my throat. I'm going, ah. Uh, um, and uh-huh. then they pull the thing out, and I think he's going to tell me I have nodes. I have yeah. cancer. He said, yeah, next anything. to Kristen Chenoweth, you have the healthiest voice I've ever seen. He said, I can't believe you do seven shows a week recently and your voice doesn't look worse. He said, you're coming out of COVID. You're not in your 20s anymore. You can't do this many shows in a row and not expect your voice to get tired. He was reading. He was reading. The doctor read. He read you your Miranda rights. That's so good, though. What a great doctor. I was very relieved. And he said, you're obviously mm-hmm. not drinking, not smoking, not doing drugs. He said, you're obviously exercising, yeah. drinking water. And I said, all right, well, I guess I'm going to have to shut up then and try not to talk so much. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. maybe so not just seven rehearsal. shows a week I don't know thank you so then I go to thank rehearsal you. and it was just it was it was it was it was I shared a dressing room with Wanda Sykes wow I said hi Wanda I just want to say hi because I'm going to be naked in a wig in here in a little bit and I just I want you mm-hmm. to know about that and she was like oh it's <gasps> fine and I was like great <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Star- she's fine she's guitar. fine Tig Tig Wait, tell it. Tell him about the t- tell him about Tig with the no pocket. Tig came up to me before we go on stage because we're all supposed to. It's all these. I, I mean, Wanda Sykes, Judy Gold, all these comics that I really mm-hmm. used to steal their yeah. albums on LimeWire, and I love Sandra them. fucking Bernhard. Sandra Bernhard. Sandra fucking Bernhard. I, so I'm I'm freaking out, right? Me, me and Mateo Lane and like the underlings are trying to like keep it cool. Yeah, because I don't care about fame, but these are comedy icons, people that I'm like. Huh? So yeah. Uh, Tig comes out before we go on stage and says, I've been looking for someone with a purse. Can I put my wallet, phone, and lipstick in your bag? And she handed me a wallet and a phone with a Burt's Bees. And I said, this is a chapstick. And she said, it's my lipstick. I said, all right. <laughs> yes, and. The first rule of improv. Yes, and. It's, yes a, lip- and. it's a lipstick. Yes, that it was is, a, that, that was a hardcore lesbian. By lesbian standards, that was a hardcore brick matte red. Yeah, that was a brick matte. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stains the lips. I so love I'm that. Right. I have this little so uh, Lucite vintage purse, and I have her Tig's real wallet, phone, and <laughs> chapstick in there. Hours of rehearsal go by. I still have it. She hasn't come to oh find God. me. I can't find her. Oh I my find God. her in the dressing room. I go, Tig. I have your your stuff, and she goes, "Oh, thank you." Thank you so <laughs> and she takes it all back. And then I said, "Hey, I discovered a River Butcher and Cameron Esposito because I used to come see your shows at the Largo, Tegan Friends. You were so good." And mm-hmm. she said, "Thank you so mm-hmm. much." Hmm. When did she kick you in the pussy? It, these aren't good stories, other than I no, got to meet people great. I like. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Do you know why free trials will new without your consent? Well, it's a business scam that's out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions that you don't want, need, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. One tap! Listen, I'll be vulnerable. Let's just say Truebill has helped me identify many um, adult entertainment websites that I no longer you know, frequent, yet I continue to subscribe to. And the amount of money that Truebill helped me save is... Pretty outrageous. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash bald. Go right now, truebill.com slash bald. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Life can be very overwhelming and so many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms of burnout can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, anxiety, and much more. I certainly know exactly what it feels like to be burned out professionally, socially, uh, spiritually, uh, physically. It's just, um, it can be very overwhelming. And the problem when you're burned out is that you often don't have the energy to seek help. That's why therapy can be so important. Being able to talk to someone without having to expend a lot of energy can be really valuable. And that's why online therapy can help so much. 
BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and the Bald and the Beautiful with Trixie Mattel and Katya listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com bald. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. I went to the show. I never made it out into the actual audience because I was, I was like, eh. I heard um, you were in the Redwood Lounge. The Redwood Lounge. The lounge. They had the lovely What was going on screens. in the lounge? Well, you know, Jennifer from Netflix and me were just um, talking trash and um, gooning. It was fun. Gooning, yeah. Um, you know, eating foods and then talking trash. Um, I was going a very, a very long the, the, the show was going well, very long, so you know I had to get out I don't of want to tell tales out of school, and I don't want anyone to tackle me. You got to. At a Netflix you got comedy to. festival. But um, we're all supposed to do five minutes. And then Mary, everyone went over. And then yes, you have the legends did. who are in their 40s, 50s, some of them 60s, and they're like, they're all lesbians with kids. They're like, yeah. come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, we're all here because all of you went over. Right. I did if y'all were so professional minutes and left. If y'all were so professional, maybe y'all would have been on time. Scott Thompson was there. He did Buddy Cole. Are you serious? Oh, I can't believe I'm I missed serious. that. They set, I don't want to give away this act. They set a stage with a bar and a drink, and that bitch came out as Buddy Cole and sat there with his martini and fucking let those whores have it. It was so funny. Oh, that was so great. I did catch and Patty I said Harrison. Scott, oh. No, go ahead. I said to Scott Thompson, I said... I gotta tell you, I don't know if your DMs are open, but I've DM'd you before. I, I, I just love you. You are so funny. Mm-hmm. And he said he watches Trixie and Katya. Oh my god, incredible! Incredible. And he said, and he said, I saw your documentary. We've, we've talked about him backstage. It's a hot set, so they have cameras and microphones on, right? All of us, because mm-hmm. they're doing a behind the scenes, and he's this close, oh, sure, close sure. talker, Canadian, mm-hmm. and he goes, Can it- <laughs> "You and Katya, what's going on there?" He goes. <laughs> He goes, it reminds you of, he goes, it reminds me of comedy duos I work with, or when you guys are together, it's just, he's like, you got to hold on to that. You got to hold on to that. <gasps> oh, really? That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I'm trying he to make sure we were okay. <laughs> 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 um, he said, are I you guys saw, okay? Um, I said, have you happened to watch a documentary recently? Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why you think that. Well, you know, Pearl, um, when I, Pearl did my makeup and she hadn't seen, she was like, um, and she asked me a question that was like, have you guys ever, have you and Trixie ever been like in a, um, have you ever been in an argument or like, have you ever, um, <laughs> and I was like, have you ever had a falling out? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we have. There's, She's a I'll, trip. I'll send you a she link. Is really a I'll trip. send you a link. She, oh, it was wild! It was wild. Five um, hours in the chair. We got deep, though. We got deep. Wait, wait, wait. Back to the back to the um, comedy special. Um, Patty Harrison, leave it. Um, girl. She so funny. She did this long, earnest setup. Um, comedic antagonist. Girl. She is an absolute antagonizer. Um, and then she sang in the style of Stevie Nicks. Um, a song. I, I think it was. I left my baby in a hot car for twelve hours, and now his head looks like a sweet potato. <laughs> here's what i love about patty too you can tell that if it wasn't a joke she actually has a really beautiful voice face to die for skin to die for and she delivers it like it's going to be Mm -hmm. dead serious yeah if anybody hasn't seen this pod go on youtube look for her song that she wrote for dua lipa and watch her sing it have you seen that i don't want to give it away but she wrote a song for dua lipa and pitched it and then she performs it in a show and it's absolutely absurd it's so oh, good oh god yeah she was she did that song for three good minutes it was funny as hell funny as hell um but then that's i don't want to tell tales out of school Tomlin? no tell them we're not in school right now i don't want to tell tales out of school but you can also tell with the legends because i'm legends there but they don't mm. all exactly necessarily like each other and <laughs> shocking, they're also shocking. famous and they're also famous and accomplished that this thing that's like uh, it's a crown in the tiara for someone like me and Bob, right? We're like, oh my right, god, right, right, right. I mean, even it's another yeah, Tuesday. Blue. They're like, yeah, for sure. They want to go home. They got kids. 
They're like, I'm they got kids. They got, yeah. And then the Greek has a hard out at 11. And because the show ran so long, that with the show ended and we are rushed out of there. But you can't even get out of there. That Greek theater is so rotten all the way up in um, uh, Barnesdale or, or the Griffith something. or It's, it's so horrible. Horrible. Yeah. You should catch. I just, I like Roadrunner it out on my feet. Crazy. I also, but not to good? give away my act, but I got asked to do a comedy song because I think they wanted variety in the set, like not just all stand up. Mm-hmm. And I, because I went three hours into the program. I was oh, very yeah, yeah, happy yeah. that I was doing music because it woke them right up. I don't know if they could have handled more stand up. No. But it, water they, they slide. were so responsive. That's great. It was so nice. I had to add pauses because they just, they was, it was like, oh, the dream audience. They, they laughed got. and laughed. Oh, they laughed. I love those kinds of Although laughs. Although me and Joel Kim Booster were backstage, we're like, if we flop, will they add? Like, will they make it look like we don't flop? I don't know. And if they oh, do, will there be whistleblowers on Twitter who are like, I was there, no one laughed. <laughs> you know well, I mean? Yes, that will for it be sure, you? regardless. Yeah, he was doing me. Well, Actually, we know it's not you because it says I was there. Yeah. I'll say this. You made it further through this performance than you have of anything I've ever done. Let's celebrate that. That is not, Let's celebrate that. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I have so know, much to tell you if you have a important. second. I tell me. you uh, Listen, I've got all the time in the world. Just t- talk at me. Talk at me. Okay, let me show you my wiglet on. Okay. I'm in, yes, put on the wiglet. Okay. 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 Gotcha. To start, to start light before I get to the real tea, I saw Nighthouse. Oh, did you like it? I did. <laughs> did you? Rebecca Hall? Did you? I loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much. I don't know if this is a compliment. I don't know if it means someone's like acting too much, but I the movie ended. I went, that bitch can act. She went in, Mama. She ate. She chewed she that did. whole movie up in her mouth and went. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, she carried the whole movie in her that mouth. That scene of her confronting the, that woman in the bookstore was the teacher. <sighs> oh, that no, was no, crazy. No. How in about, the bookstore, oh, when yeah. she's like, "I yeah. know you were fucking my husband." Like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, crazy. How about the one with the, at the beginning with the, the teacher? I mean, uh, the, the student's mom. Um, she was like, like, oh, well, I'm just, I'm, things have been a little hectic for me because my husband recently blew his brains out. It was like so crazy. Oh my God, Girl, so good. I said the same thing at Cafe Nero today. I was in my <laughs> running outfit and a fan came up to me and I was mid sandwich. And I just was like, oh, I'm sorry. My husband blew his brains out last Thursday. <laughs> And then I love when the woman goes, well, I'm sorry, I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard. And then she yeah. goes, well, that's why it's a personal matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, then you she goes, a. you want to be? Oh, shit. Great. <laughs> yeah. That's sickening. She was so yeah, beautiful. So good. so good. Yeah. So talented. She made me feel shit. That movie was so good. A lot of twists and turns that you did not see coming, I'll tell you that. No. I thought it no. was going to be... I, it seemed like it was going to be not paranormal. Right, 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 right. Oh, like, yeah. oh it's, it's more of a human crime thing. Okay. No. Um, Straight up ghost story. Okay. So, that, so I watched that on the plane on the way back from... Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, Brandon, uh, Brandon was in first class for this flight. Netflix bought Brandon first class international flight. Oh, you no. Want to talk a gooning and dating? Mama, a monster gooning is born. And he, he said, yes, I will have more of that drink. Thank you. So, he, was, he was living living um, it's incredible so i'm in london the other night i'm playing the palladium gorgeous venue one of the probably my favorite shows i've ever given i felt so proud of myself but i'm wow. doing we got the look which has this vamp section where i'm standing there like this and mm-hmm. i'm like yeah yes. this song's gonna happen let's do it mm-hmm. and then i bring up some guests on the stage to come and uh take my costume off guess who walks on stage oh uh, I don't know. Do you know? Is it Maria Bamford? No. No. Just Maria come Bamford to came to my show recently? in Belfast, though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Maria came it? to my show it? in Belfast. I bombed. It was humiliating. But Oh, that's right. Guess who came on stage in London? Who? To who? do the reveal. Who? 
Cody Choi and Val Garland. <laughs> the real people. The real people. Get I'm in the middle out. of the number and I go, get yes, out. I go, okay, get let's out. bring out our fabulous, our fabulous volunteers. Fucking, I see blonde hair, I see glasses, and I go, you're kidding me. I said, is it Val Garland? And I said, and who's your friend you have with you? And Cody's smiling, and I go, are you fucking Cody Choi? Oh my it was so fucking crazy. God. That is so fierce. That is so fucking she, fierce. And I, I said, myself. Val, do you want to say, I said, you guys, it's Val and Cody from the hit show Glow Up. And everyone cheered. They couldn't believe it. Yeah. And then I said, Val, is there anything you want to say to the audience? And she said, ding, ding dong. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> she looked so beautiful in person. And then oh, she sent me a DM so saying, much. sorry, I couldn't stay for the show. I'm filming right now. But I, I, I just wanted to God. thank you. I, I, Brandon arranged it with Netflix. Jennifer and Oh, Brandon my God. That's so sweet. That's so cool. That is so fucking yeah. cool. I love that shit. It, it Jennifer. blew my. It, I it, I I I didn't expect. So I just it took me a whole second to go. Is that Val Garland? Like if I hadn't been in London, I wouldn't have believed it. I was like, oh, Damn. that probably is her. I love her so much. She's so cool. She's so cool. Yeah, she is so so cool. Um, what else? Um, so anyway, that's all my tea. Okay. I have some fun tea. Tell, I, tell, me, about your, tell me about your off tour experience. Okay, so let me get my um, Starbucks drink. Um, oh, I got. I went to the chiro, not the chiropractor. That doesn't. That's not a real thing. I went to the orthopedic surgeon yesterday for your leg, for my hip. So, would well, you want to tell um, the people the tea? I don't think they know. Oh yeah, it's well, it's not very, it's not very interesting. So I had have a hip injury. I don't know where it came from. It hurts to walk. I'm 40 years old, whatever. Um, so I make an appointment. And I finally get one. And um, so I was like, oh, uh, long story short, I got a cortisone shot in my um, my butt. A long, horrible needle hurt like hell. And then um, it, it like, but they froze. It's cool. They freeze the skin. Um, and that hurts too, but like it's to numb the area. And this giant ass needle oh, went it's down like in a there. Cold pain. Yeah, yeah, it's like stings, but it was like whatever. Um, and then um, horrible fucking needle goes in there. Bloop 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 bloop. Terrible. Do I feel great. <laughs> really? That's it. Yeah, trochanteric bursitis. So inflammation of the bursa around the the hip joint. That's all it is. Old. Oh my god! We were talking about you having to get like a hip replacement. Did you bring that up? Were they hip like, replacement or euthanasia or um, uh, take me out back and shoot me like a lame horse? Yeah. Well, it was like it's pretty. It's pretty scary when you. It hurts to walk. Uh, as somebody I mean? who needs to tour with you and make money off you, do you know how? Do you know how ready I was to varsity blues this and start giving you steroid shots and put you on stage every time, girl? <laughs> You're not dying until I say you die. Okay, <laughs> honey. And you know who else is not going to let you die? Kelly Hansel. I know. Oh, my God. We, we, I had her on the pod while you were gone. That was fun. Um, gosh, she's a riot. I love she her. She is such a riot. She's great. She's so great. Love, love the Kelly Mantle. Mm. Her IMDb. My, Mary, I don't know. You must have seen it. Has but she her, been in she everything? Has disappearance. Everything. Um, she, we, uh, we, I watched this thing. You're talking about where she shoots before. the judge? You... Yes. Eagle yes. Heart. Eagle Heart. What, what are you? The last thing you see before you're completely assassinated. <laughs> yeah. That's me before I lip sync on Drag Race. <laughs> completely assassinated. <laughs> Are people still trying to make plans with you this summer as if you aren't booked and busy, Diva? <laughs> well, you're just going to have to tell them to try again in the fall. You've got pool days, pride parades, bachelor parties, beach vacations waiting for you. It's a lot, but thankfully, Me Undies wants to help make this summer the most comfortable one you'll never forget. Because when you're living your best life, the last thing you want to worry about is butt sweat. Actually, the first thing I want to think about is butt sweat. But that's just me. 
MeUndies was generous enough to send me a pair of so... Uh, okay, I opened the package and I saw these boxer brief shorts and I was like, no way. I put them on and I was like, okay, they're so comfortable. They're so whimsical. They've got a pattern on them. It makes me feel like a teenager again. I'm 40. When you're comfy and feeling good, you're more present to enjoy all your summer plans. That has a scientific base that we really just don't have enough time to get into right now. MeUndies also releases new prints all the time like their limited edition Pride collection. So you can match with your partner, friends, or even your dog. Did you know that dogs can be gay? I didn't. MeUndies has a great offer for my listeners. For any first-time purchases, you get 15% off. For a limited time, if you sign up for their free-to-join MeUndies membership, you get 25% off your first membership item. To get 15% off your first order, 25% off your first membership item, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash bald. That's MeUndies.com slash bald. Shopping for new clothes can be time-consuming and stressful. So why not let Stitch Fix do all the work so that you can spend more time doing the things that you love? When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks and curated for your size and taste. Listen, I have an event I need to go to. It's a wedding and it's a summer wedding in a foreign country. And I looked in my wardrobe and I have absolutely nothing which would fit the theme, the vibe. It was very daunting. I have all goth athleisure clothes and that's it. So I was able to go on Stitch Fix and search by category, find exactly the vibe I'm looking for in clothes that are totally appropriate for what I'm looking for without having to go to a dozen malls and spend three days frustrated, um, just wandering aimlessly. Stitch Fix is easy and fun to get started. You can take a few minutes to set up your style profile, answer a few questions about what you like to wear and what you don't, and how open you are to trying new styles. Then, Stitch Fix's expert stylist will go to work finding items exclusively for you. Plus, there's no subscription required. Try once or set up automatic deliveries. There are no hidden fees, ever. Sign up today at stitchfix.com bald to get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com bald to get $20 off your first purchase. Limited time offer, purchase within two days of sign up. I might be bald, but I've got a lot of friends. Friends who have thick, luscious heads of hair. And when I've given them the whey products that they've used consistently, well, let's just say their thick, luscious heads of hair have reached new heights of lusciousness, thickness, and health. Whey's new scalp serum and thick and full supplements are a complete solution for promoting the appearance of thicker, fuller, healthier hair. My friend, who shall remain nameless, started using the supplements and the serum a few weeks ago, and holy crap, the difference is remarkable. The way thick and full supplements improve your overall hair health, they contain beauty boosting ingredients such as biotin and pea shoot extract that promote thicker, fuller strands, and they're only vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free ingredients used. Plus, the Daily Scalp Serum can be used day or night with wet or dry hair. It soothes the irritation from tight ponytails and excessive hair detangling and keeps your hair feeling stronger and looking fuller through a healthy, hydrated, balanced scalp. Grow all the way with Whey Scalp Serum and Thick and Full Supplements. Go to theouai.com and use code BEAUTIFUL to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's 15% off your entire order at theouai.com, code BEAUTIFUL. You know what? Uh, oh. They announced, I don't think we filmed, they announced winter season. Have we talked about that? I'm watching it tomorrow at the pit stop. Oh, <gasps> do you know what episode I get to see doing? the first episode, the first, the first one. You got to come on the podcast yeah. and tell everyone what happens. I know. I am so. I was like, oh, they book me. It's like, oh, they want to book you to do the pit stop. I was like, oh, okay, great. And then um, uh, I was like, Bob's hosting it. Oh, good, wonderful. And I was like, wait, what? What series are we doing? They're like the winners. I was like, oh yes. Now I'm excited. Yeah, because watching an episode That's regular season is like, oh, yeah, I'm excited. Have, do you know anything about it? No. Well, they, I mean, which, they how did would ask, you? which was so nice. Um, would ask what? But but I I did. They asked if I would do it a few months ago. Do you remember that? The winter season. They asked me to do the winter season. They said, "Hey, we know you probably don't want to do it, but we just wanted to extend an offer." And I said, "Yeah, oh. I'm touring this year. I'm not really interested." And they were okay with it. Plus, I'm doing Quinn in the Universe and stuff. You know. Um, but then it's, when it's, I left it's, pits, it when I make left any when I left Pit Stop, I made them promise to invite me to do winners. Because that was, yeah. I care more about doing Pit Stop than Drag Race. I love doing Pit sure. Stop. And yeah, then yeah. 
it didn't work with the schedule. They said you'd basically yeah. have to film remotely. And I said, at that point, I said, you should see no a Bob way. or like Monet. Yeah. Well, Monet couldn't do it because she's on it. So I said, you should see a Bob. Otherwise, I recommended a few other people um, who I think would be good. But I love doing pit stop and doing the guest. That's the best gig. Go in, wear your little oh, outfit, it's talk so shit. fun. It's so fun. It is so, so fun. You get it's to watch so the fun. episode and yeah, it's great. Put your nails on. Yeah, it's really fun. Really, really fun. We probably might hang out with gig for producer them. Joe Gerbino. Joe Yeah, Joe Gerbino. Gerbino, love of my life. Joe Gerbino, Amor de mi vida. Yeah. Yep, it's great. It's great. This stop is great. It's I mean, super duper. It's, it's a fun yeah. gig. Uh, it's um, it's really, really cute, especially, you know, the, and the guess, you know, we I did it through COVID too, which was like, you know, people remotely, remote Zoom drag some of it. Mm-hmm. I think you and I did a mm-hmm. remote pit stop episode together. I think we did. Which isn't I think quite we as did, fun. Yeah. No. But you know what I did like about it? Do. When it's in person, it's only LA Queens. When it's remote, we got to have people like Shay, it can be anybody. Latrice, yeah. people who, they don't come to LA very much, so. Yeah. Um, I think you did a great job. Winners. That's going to be, I loved doing it. I'm excited to watch this. It was fun. You know, when you're doing a job and you you can feel like you're doing a good job, that's what I felt like. Yeah, it's great. It's what a great feeling. They got to get Violet. <laughs> they got to get Violet to just lay down the law every episode. I think they did. Oh, no, no. As they the host, did Violet, the permanent host. I think Violet did fashion photo review for the whole season. Yes. And yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know what I feel like? Alyssa Edwards doing this. Totally. <laughs> With the gun. <laughs> the gun. <laughs> you know what? Totally. These winners, though, this is a good group. I'm not saying everybody who wins Drag Race is automatically good at drag, but this is a group who's going to really bring it. And I bet Violet will be reading things like, you know, concept and like stuff, mm-hmm. you know, Violet shit. Violet's going to look yeah, deeper social than like security a number or like yeah 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 family history alcoholism <laughs> she's going to dive deep. I know that's a good, it's going to be on Pearl's channel but Pearl Pearl did your makeup for a video how would how did it go oh oh I hated it oh I hated you it did? it was so oh yes I hated it she know? I mean it was yeah 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 I told her in the moment I hated it <laughs> she was well, I mean there were fair, things about it that I loved. So there was like, so first of all, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The first thing that she had, she had um, the first hurdle she had to overcome was, of course, the eyebrows. So she glued down my brows, which took about over an hour because I had these, you know, these little um, spindly little like, well, because I half shaved and half like these are drawn in. But like, you know, my eyebrows are not glue downable. They're just not. So any case, that was like, that was something, you know, that was a hurdle. And she, I hated the brows. I loved the eye makeup. I loved the nose. I She's hated an amazing the mouth. Makeup artist. I loved, no, she is. She, I was, I'm telling you, Trixie, I was, I did not recognize the person in the mirror at yeah, all. I think you sent me a picture. I just need to look at it. It was so crazy. By the way, I was shocked. By the way, if you guys like quality content, this is an unpaid, unpaid plug. Pearl's channel is really amazing. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. She's fucking, you want to talk renovation? She's renovating buses and shit. I know. She's crazy. She's absolutely crazy. And we, we had a great time. We got deep. We went deep into it. We, she, we, she was there for like four hours or something. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. I love the freckles. The freckles are fun. The eyes are great. The eyebrows are boo-boo. Um, and the mouth is round. I love the but eye everything shape. Everything else is the great. Eye shape. The eye shape is fantastic. No bottom liner. No bottom liner. Can you get into that? Yeah, it's pretty. No bottom well, liner. I don't want to give away her tea because you guys should go on her channel mm. and watch. But um, yeah, I don't think you, you know. It, it, it brought me. It brought me back to this. <laughs> Do you know what's sad? And as long as we're, on, I don't want. As long as we're it, all getting brought back to there, that's I feel like we're good. <laughs> as long as we're coming back. You to know that. what's sad? When that came out and Whoa. people were like making memes of it. I know that I live in delusion. I felt so beautiful. <laughs> Wait, is that the Scott Barnes? We talked I about felt that so at length. Beautiful. On, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Mary, I have all the screenshots <laughs> in the video. 
you felt like the only <sighs> woman to walk on the earth with a real <laughs> pussy and long okay. hair. I remember calling you so and fierce. taking so many pictures. Like, yes. You could not help but feel it. The full, unbridled, yeah. unadulterated fantasy. It was amazing. Well, you know, was, I've been feeling really good about myself in general, which, you Great. know, for somebody like Great. me who already is delusionally confident, feeling good about the way you look mm-hmm. is just, it's like throwing gasoline on a fire. Um, yeah. But I went to the dermatologist Saturday because mm-hmm. I've had okay. this little red dot on my nose for years. Have you ever noticed this? Oh, yeah. Every day, of course. <laughs> okay. So I said... Can I have that removed? He goes, oh, yeah, it's just a blank, blank, blank medical term. He said, that and a few other dots on your nose, we can zap them right now and they'll be gone. And I said, well, I have a taping for Netflix tonight. Is it going to be a problem? He said, well, you're going to have to put makeup on it. There should be, he's like, are you, he's like, you might have to put on heavy makeup. I said, I'm okay oh, with that. I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they numb the face of the dermatologist, numb the face, numbing cream on the nose. And then they went in with me, mm-hmm. zapper, like a flashing laser light thing. Yeah. And they said, yeah. it's just going to feel like a little yeah. rubber band snapping. The lie detector no. test determined that was a lie. Nope. I felt like I got kicked oh. in the face by oh. a donkey. <sighs> it, like I had those little um, Jennifer Coolidge, like yes. sunbathing glasses on. Yeah. And I was going uh-huh. like this. <clears throat> Mary. <clears throat> I think they called that the IPL. So bad. The intense whatever photo something the ipl ipo something it absolutely worked this is still healing but it's smooth completely smooth it's gonna be gone um but they tried to say they tried to sell me this uh the same song and dance i said oh no 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 rubber band it worked rubber band rubber band it hurts That's so what bad I said. I said it hurts I said, so bad i'm like if you told so me that this was really gonna hurt my expectation would be adjusted and it would hurt that exactly. Bad. But this is not a exactly. rubber band. This is the world's no. largest rubber band from Piedmont, <sighs> North Dakota. Don't ever try to minimize pain, especially when you're like in a, in a product you're selling. Like, you know, I always say just, this is going to be very challenging, but it's going to work and you're going to love it. You know what I mean? Like just say that or something yes. like that. I don't know. Yes. Ugh. I'm somebody who's used to uh, going through pain to look good. Just tell me what the teeth. Right. So yeah. then I, oh, I have a, a consultation with the esthetician at the clinic, right? And this is like a Beverly mm-hmm. Hills clinic, fancy, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's 8 a.m. when I'm there. I'm like, they're so early. First person there. And she comes in and she goes, so tell me about your skin. And I go, well, actually, for what I do for a living, I think I have really good skin. And I said, I feel really confident. People always compliment my skin. I said, I, I'm really lucky of all my features. I said, I think my skin is probably the one thing I like love. Yeah. And she goes, okay, um, can I show, can I show you a few things? And I go, yeah, sure. She takes an iPhone in the sunlight, in the direct daylight in the office, takes zoomed in pictures of my face and she is zooming. She's, I'm, I'm going to use this picture as a, as a, as the T let's see here. Oh my God. I can only imagine girl. She's zooming in. Let me find a picture of me. Actually, this is better. She's zooming in and she's going, she's going, do you see that? All that texture that's years and years of sun damage. And she goes, do you see under certain lights? Do you see this big panel of dark spots here? She said, this area, the integrity of your skin is collapsing. It's <laughs> collapsing. Collapsing. I said, okay. And then about 20, 20 minutes went by of her zooming in on my face and telling me what was wrong with me, which by the way, oh my God. you don't want to go to a dermatologist where they tell you nothing. You want to go where they read you. Right? right. You want them to tell you the teeth. Right. Yeah. 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 And she goes, I think we should start today. She said, we got to get in there. Like we got to get it. Like it's a, like it's a house in the Hollywood Hills. That's on stilts. That's collapsing. She's like, yeah. we got to get in like, there. we got to enjoy every moment. Cause it's a matter of time. That's so she so gives me an fierce. oxygen facial followed by stem cells on the face. And by the way, in the light of the Roe v. Oh, Wade what? overturn, I'm not going to ask where the stem cells are coming from. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. When I tell you at the office, I sent you a picture of myself in the office. When mm-hmm. I tell you I was serving this fame, just wet, wet skin on the on the bed. Oh, yeah. Lovely wet skin. Lovely wet skin. Oxygen facial. Look at that. I mean, just, just look at it. Flawless. 
Lalina. Incredible. Beautiful. I mean, she did read me, but afterward, she, she was like, do you see how much help you need and how much, like how much better this looks? She was oh my from God. Italy, so I think with the language barrier, she was very straight to the point. Yes. Which I honestly really appreciated because she did turn my pussy out. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> how much is that? But, I mean, for her to you zoom in on my forehead and say, well, the Zach thing? mama and yeah. the facial. And then she yeah. basically said, I want to set you up with an all prescription medical grade skincare regimen. I think you should get everything. And for what we do for a living to our faces, I'm not going to say that's, no that's to fair. like, absolutely. Absolutely. Painters, paint, yeah. She said, I know you wear a lot of makeup. She said, the better your mm-hmm. canvas is, the better it's going to look. And I said, mm-hmm. I agree, but I thought mm-hmm. I looked okay. I mean, yeah. um, she came for you. So she said, she not did, today, ugly. Mama, she came right into my house <laughs> and she came for me and my family and my daughter. She ripped up the carpet while um, you were having dinner. <laughs> Yeah. So now I'm on a whole prescription skincare judge that I, I don't know. I don't know what anything does or if it's going to work, but I'm just doing it because the doctor told me to. There you go. It's Accutane. She put you on Accutane. <laughs> um, also, a fan at the meet and greet tonight said, I got you a bunch of sweets and chocolate and gave it to me and said, I didn't do nothing to it. Listen, <sighs> I didn't think you did, but now that you said that, <laughs> like, you added that doubt to my mind now. Like, I was fine until you said that. I didn't do now, nothing like, to it. I didn't do nothing to it. Um, the, U- the UK, Love. what's going on over here? I don't know. I'll see you there soon. Shit. Well, by the time this comes oh, out, people don't know you. Can we say? But by the time it don't comes out, that you and I are touring in the UK, you're a people who don't know Oh, yeah. Oh, that they don't know that yet because we haven't because we haven't. They don't know until about timeline. two weeks. Everybody at the meet and greets has been asking if the show is coming, and I've been saying you never know. But I've also been telling yeah. them make sure you buy a ticket immediately because in the states it was all sold out every sold night. Sold out, Mama. Sold out, Mary. Sold out, Mary Dugan. Yeah. Which, by the way, not I'm, to plug, but we have many U.S. dates that are already like still on the table sold. Yeah. Still on the table for y'all want to come see it. We're doing it's the YouTube theater in Los Angeles. I think we've sold 3000 of the 4,000 tickets already. We were just there. Um, Mary, how about this radio city is almost I, pretty much sold out. That is gaggy on the, yeah. uh, after on nine 11, tell, tell the people about the, um, tell the people about the, the pornography clause. Oh, there is a decency clause in the, the contract for radio city. So if you, uh, there's it's a lewd and um i think they call it a lewd and indecent clause where if you make a a, a comment or do something that they deem inappropriate or lewd or especially um in addition to that you cannot disparage radio city on the microphone if you say hey by the way um this perfect this pl- this place is a perfect shit dump for me to like spread my pussy lips that would be like a twofer you get fifty thousand dollar fine Fifty thousand dollar fine, Mary. So maybe a hundred thousand for that one. Disparaging and lewd. Oh my god! I, yes. On this tour, Nick's been here filming, and for some of the venues, I've had to pay out of my own personal pocket fees <gasps> for him to run a YouTube camera here. And so, what I've been doing is going on stage and telling the audience oh, yeah. exactly how much that costs. <laughs> I don't tactful. care. I'm sorry. Like you're it's so a tactful. sold out house. It's yeah. a sold out house, and you're going to charge me money to film for YouTube. It's you. Oh, the venue charges it. The venue charges yes. it. Yes. What? Yes. I said, "Hey, um, my friend Nick from America's here." I said, "He's just filming for TikTok." I said, "We're doing some social stuff," and they were like, "Yeah, there's a fee." One of the venues charged me twenty five hundred American dollars, and then when I wow. got there, they tried to raise it to seven thousand, and we had to pull up an email and say, "Um, what about this amount?" Yeah. What about this amount? Dragging the girls. Previously quoted amounts not being honored. I'm like, girl, I'm in a wig putting on makeup for YouTube. This isn't Titanic. We're no, not but making... you know what, though? I don't know. I actually, I think I'm on the side of the venue with Girl, this everyone one. in the audience has a camera on their phone and no one charges it. Well, because they're not supposed to be doing that. And also their videos suck. You got lovely lighting. <laughs> that being said, when people like... come to Trixie Motel, if they're taking TikToks, mm. I'm kicking down that door. No, you're adding it to their bill. 
Mama, I'm, I'm, when, I, when I tell you at the Trixie Motel that we have your card on file, Mama, we have your card on file. On file. We're waiting well. 30 days in order to slap you with a $7,500 $7, recording fee. If you even clip your toenails in one of these rooms, I'm taking your mom's house. <laughs> when does that shit get started, bitch? Girl, we premiere June. God, this is so horrible. Did you see me just push my hair back? I have no hair on. <laughs> yeah, she's like. Did you see that? Oh, hold on, let me let me tie my hair up so I can look at my schedule. I love that, it's, girl. That's taffy. That's taffy. That's, ta- <laughs> that's taffy. By the way, I think I'm gonna make taffy merch. I think I'm making taffy merch. T a p h e i g h. T a p h e i g h. E i g h. Oh, so good. I'm a taffy puller. Mama Taffy Puller. Let me show you Taffy. <laughs> That's Taffy. That's nasty and rotten. By the That's way, look at the store that I saw in Cambridge today. I was in Cambridge today and I was running and look at this store that I saw. This was their sign outside. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's in there? Like, is it calm? What kind of store is, is that? it? Caucasian what kind of stuff folk is that? music? Like, what is it? Oh, looking for some white stuff, baby, this evening. So, Trixie Motel it? premieres June 3rd. Okay, great. And yeah. where can they find and that? We Discovery have to... Plus? Discovery Plus? Do you see the trailer? Rich. And lovely. So great. I can't wait. I'm Do really you know excited. how many people were on set for that trailer? No. Like a hundred. Jesus Christ. Really? It was one of the most high budget things I've ever been a part of. It was really cool. It honestly shows. It was so well done. So well done. So well done. If that's any indication of the the level of quality that will come in the in the throughout the season, I think we're in for a lovely experience. <laughs> but girl, when they pitched the trailer idea, they were like, "Well, the trailer idea is Trixie, the queen of all trades. We have her as a bartender, as a front desk, as a designer, as a whatever." And I said, "Oh, that sounds amazing." realize that means i have to turn about a dozen looks in a day yeah yeah i was yeah. in drag at 7 a.m shooting for that and i shot till about 8 p.m but you know what it looks great so let's let's celebrate that <laughs> let's celebrate that and then and then get dragged the next morning to shoot stills because there wasn't enough time so then drag all day to do stills Oh no! Same Same costume. No 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 no. By the way, I had laryngitis. How was your solo press tour for? Oh, I actually had a great time. I had a great time. I yeah. I had um. I think I had three interviews. That was it. And then one. I think they twisted my words so so fiercely. I saw just a snippet of that, and then um, some rag. I forget who. I twisted my words just to death. But then a lovely man, um, then the guy from The Decider was just a doll. It was fun. Really fun. I was talking to, I forget which publication I talked to about Winter All-Stars. And I was saying how badly I wanted to do Pit Stop. Yeah. And the article is, Trixie really wanted to do All-Stars winners. And I'm like... That is not what I said. I said I wanted to do my, stop. Yeah, mine was the headline was "This was disgusting." I don't know what they oh, were talking. What? what I I don't know. I don't know. It was it was so bad. It was so clickbaity and gross. I was like, "Oh, y'all people are just too much, too much." Girl, I was on a a press thing. I forget what for. And I said, "If the I said I'll let you ask about all stars, but if the headline of this article is about whether or not I'll do all stars, I'm going to scream." I just told them. I said, "You cannot yeah. do that." I mean, that's what they do. They want those clicks. That's what they do. That's what they do. Click here to All see right. my husband's dead. Click here to see click, my pussy. Click here to see my pussy. <laughs> Did you know that I got demonetized on Facebook for posting that? Good. Because it counts me. as sexual solicitation. That was me. I, I reported you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I've been thinking we've about had enough. <laughs> Let's celebrate that. <laughs> Let's celebrate that. <laughs> All right, bye. <gasps> but wait, 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 wait. Have a lovely day. Oh, <laughs> it's midnight here. Oh, good night. Good night. <laughs> good, night. Good, good night. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.